Hello, welcome back to the final part of today's show and I'm looking into your stars in a minute with astrologer Michelle Knight. But first, a look at some of the exotic animals you have met. Uh, I can understand that. <laughs> now, Michelle here has a... Well, you have an exotic pet, don't you, Michelle? I do, several actually, but yeah. What have you got? I've got two peacocks, six geese, donkeys, Shetlands, you name it, we've got it. Have and you? that's Oberon, my peacock. Oberon, the king of the fairies. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? They make a lot of noise, but are they oh. quite friendly? He is very friendly. He comes to the door if we have guests. He just will literally walk up. It's almost as if we're paying him to do that. But actually, someone came to the house the other day. He's got a phobia about peacocks, so that wasn't oh. so good. That's <laughs> strange. I've never met that before. No. Yeah. Well, Michelle is here because we are looking into the stars with Michelle Knight, and uh, there is a very exciting event approaching us. It's called the Venus Transits. So, Michelle, welcome. Hello, hello again, Anna and Nina. Uh, and Michelle's going to explain to us what Venus Transits means, and she's going to do all our charts and yours too, if you can. Right. Well, Venus is yes. doing this incredibly exciting thing where it's crossing the sun, so you'll actually be able to see it, but if you wear glasses, otherwise you'll hurt yourself. But it looks like this little beauty spot crossing the Ooh. sun. It's not going to happen for 110 years, once in a lifetime. And it's all about the power of the feminine and how even though we may not be big and strong, that it's it's the energy of the feminine coming back. And it's it's like a love revolution. <gasps> so, so hopefully. The, so the, the, the female of the species is going to be seen for her strength yes, as well as beauty. And, and hopefully we're all going to become a bit more aware that we're all connected and be a bit more compassionate to each other, touch yes. wood. Instead of all that men are from Mars, women are from Venus yeah. nonsense. We're all yes. going to get together, hopefully. Oh, lovely. But okay. also it's going to particularly affect um, Sagittarians and Geminis. It's in Gemini, so Geminis, this is, this is it. It's, it's extreme for Geminis. And it's all about going back to the past, because penis... Penis? <laughs> Venus is retrograde! <laughs> Freudian slip! It's all that talk about food. Don't anyway, worry. so <laughs> Venus... <laughs> oh, that sounded... Well, right, I've Venus is... hot dogs Venus later. Is anyway, carry on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, and um, <laughs> it's all about us looking back at past relationships <laughs> yes. and moving swiftly on. Yes, <laughs> yes but, but it's right. very, very powerful. We're all friends, it's all okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and last time it happened, the telephone was invented, so it was almost like a global brain. That was when we all connected to each other. So it'd be very interesting to see what happens this time. Very interesting to see. <laughs> so it's going to be happening for Gemini's and Sagittarians in particular. But yeah. what about the rest of us? Well, it, it affects everybody differently. Like for Aries, it's all about communication. For Scorpios, it's all about intensity. But each person needs to go back and examine their love life and go, how could I change? How did I react in that relationship? And how has that affected my current relationship? And that could lead to a massive transformation. How exciting. Right, you've had all our, our horoscopes, and thank you so much for, for doing our charts. Let's start with Anna. <clears throat> Brace yourself. Do Good you luck. believe in this, Anna, for a start? I do. I've, I've done a lot of paranormal programming in my life and have worked with with Michelle so I'm very open-minded very open-minded okay let's have it okay well you know that I, I, I know you anyway but uh, yeah. I'll be revealing a little bit about you you're a Libran so you do like to be very well balanced but your chart is quite topsy-turvy there's a part of you that's very compassionate you have a great deal of compassion for other people yeah. and you're fascinated by people and that's genuine mm -hmm. and that's because your Venus is in Scorpio so you're underneath that cool surface, you're very sizzling and a, a bit of a minx. That's me. But, but your Virgo <laughs> keeps you kind of held back sometimes. But this year, there's a lot of Pluto action going on. So it's going to be quite intense and extreme. Lots of transformation and sudden changes. But you'll be able to cope with that because you've got Venus in Scorpio. Amazing. So intense, passionate, sizzling. Yeah. <sighs> okay. well, more, th more than I, I would mention on air, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, you can't be more personal. What about job-wise, career-wise? You yeah, make it well, good. Well, I, I think yeah. it's about... You, you, if it's to do with your career, equally, Pluto is about transformation, it's about change. But you might be doing something that's very deep, that delves even deeper into human psychology. Fantastic. Thank Excellent. You. OK, we've got emails coming out of our ears. So here we go. This is from Karen, who was born on the 24th of the 4th, 1970. She says, I'm having what seems like the most stagnant few years of my life. No job, no partner, no real future prospects, but trying to remain positive. Will there be a change of fortunes in my immediate future? Should I relocate, for example? Mm. 
Well, your chart is very interesting because you've got a lot of Taurus in your chart, like four planets in Taurus. So you tend to get stuck recently, or actually for a few years, you've been thinking about the past almost with rose-tinted glasses. But this Venus transit can help you change. And interestingly in your chart, there is a possibility of an unexpected love affair with a friend or someone who starts out as a friend. But it's like you've got to open up to the play. It's almost like allow this Venus to let you feel reborn, put the past behind you and go, Boom! I've landed on Earth and I believe everything is positive and everything is possible. Wow. So she shouldn't have to relocate then. It's there, waiting yeah. for her. Yeah, well, she can do whatever she wants as long as she believes that this is a new chapter. So, ready for the new. So, if she wants to relocate, that's good too. She's Taurus, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, very good. OK. Uh, now, what about Nina? Are you ready for this, Nina, or are uh, you Yeah, skeptical? I think so. Yeah, tell us. Hit it. Oh, it's the monkey. I blame oh. the monkey for my earlier mistake. Any sex on the horizon? <laughs> <laughs> Is she going to have any sex on the horizon? Any death? Anything? Well, well actually... <laughs> If you're a Virgo and Venus is going to affect all Virgos in their 10th house, which is odd because that's about your career. So there's lots of issues about your career and all your right. relationships. All right. But your chart is very interesting because you're not a typical performer. You actually love your family. You love to be a homebody. You've got moon and cancer. You're very sensitive and you're very, you know, you do scuttle away if things frighten you emotionally. Hence, it... monkey comes to help you out, no doubt. Yes, yeah. But... Yeah, they hit the nail on the head, though. <laughs> but you have got a lot of support <laughs> in your family, but often Often you get kind of torn, and I would say last year was very pivotal. But the last 18 months were very cathartic, mm. where you thought you were going in one direction and you didn't. But interestingly, this year you have the opportunity to, and for the next two years, it's probably the most creative you've ever been in your life. Oh my goodness! Ooh. But pressure's on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but be open, be open to the new, because it's. I think you learnt last year you're not in control. No, am I not? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> She's always confused. I, yeah, that's exciting then. So two years of good stuff. Fantastic. Yes, it's on him. Lord's on him. Yeah, then it's Lots all downhill from them, monkey. Watch out, she'll probably, oh, is uh, it? you know. What, for monkey? <laughs> monkey, I, monkey. I don't know about this stuff, because you say it and then she'll make it through. <laughs> it feels so insidious, like it goes into your head and then you're just going to take it and make it happen. But that's, I mean, you know, even if What's you believe that? What's wrong that? Positive thinking. I know, yeah. in two years' time, that's going to be a real downer for me. No, no. because then, it, then you've already reached a different level and then it's maybe yeah. plain sailing from then. All yes. Right. God. You're no, Karen. Wonder, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Karen has emailed us. Her, her birthday is the 10th of July, 1962, and it's her cancer. And uh, she says, when will I get some romance in my life? Well, actually, right now, until the 20th of June, that is a fabulous time for you. And because you're a cancer, this Venus is hitting you in the 12th house, which is all about a kind of spiritual revelation about what relationships are are all about. So rather than just having the relationship and going from relationship to relationship, there's a, a complete look into the meaning of, of what all those relationships meant and where to go with that. But there could be kind of a fated meeting, an unexpected meeting with someone that she meets that's almost like bumping into a soulmate or a past Ooh. life connection. Ooh. So it's deep and cosmic Ooh. and intense. So she's got to be all spruced up and ready for 20th of June? Yeah. OK, there you are. Well, no, before the 20th of June. Before, so, so that, from now until the 20th? <laughs> yeah. Get yourself always looking gorgeous. OK. Um, you've done my chart. Listen, How much can you tell me? That was absolutely fascinating because you are a very complex and divine creature. You are the perfect yin and yang because you're very feminine and very womanly and, and very giving and you have empathy with your Pisces. But the, ex <laughs> <laughs> but the extraordinary thing about you is you have got five planets in Leo, right? Mm. So you are stronger than any man, which may, may have caused difficulties in the past because you are always going to be the strong one. <laughs> and that's not their fault because you're like, boom, you are born with your Mars in Leo to conquer. <laughs> but <laughs> you're, you're, oh yes, but your but moon in Pisces is very, very sensitive and you're very self-critical because you've got the Virgo rising. So um, this year is, oh, you've got the greatest thing this year. You've got Jupiter doing something with Jupiter, which enables you to have a massive breakthrough. And that is imminent, so ring me up and complain if it doesn't happen by August, because it's, it's just like expansion on all levels. And on top of that, you might write something, but it could be something different, like a film script, a documentary. Oh, how or, exciting. But something that you've wanted to do, but your Virgo rise has been like, no, you can't do it. I'm saving that up. So it's something within your soul that you feel that you were born to do. I'm excited. I could talk to you all day about your charts. Fascinating. Well, we'll see, won't we? Thank you. That's yeah. lovely. All right, here we go. This is Lisa. Uh, she was born on the 26th of November. Is that Capricorn? No, no. That's Scorpio. No. Scorpio. Sorry, where are we? The 26th. Lisa. 
No, actually, it's Sagittarius, because I looked it up. Oh, beg your pardon. All right, Lisa, 26th of November. At the age of 45, I continue to be drifting through relationships, possibly always looking for something better. I find myself waiting for my current partner to do all the chasing. I've asked him now for a break, as I feel that I'm unfair and causing him pain. How can I feel unconfident within it and trust? Can you do it in 30 seconds? Yeah, well, this is very, very interesting. She has to learn to play more and let things go, because even though she's a Sagittarius, this Venus will affect her in a massive way, because it's in the seventh house. Good. She started off in the relationship being very open and forgiving, felt that her line was trodden on and that she's built up a wall. She can break down that wall and give it another go if she wants. There you go, Lisa. Thank you so much. Wonderful Thank to have you. you here, girls. If you want to see Venus crossing the sun, go to our website for details on how to do so safely. And obviously the event should not be viewed by the naked eye. Now that is it for today. Tune in.